Welcome back to Life in Balance. Uh, this week's show is going to be uh, full of great information. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, I mean, this this week we're going to be talking about, you know, things that scare people because we just finished Halloween. Yes. And we want to make sure that these things don't scare you because the more you understand about them, the more you're prepared, the less likely are you to have any of these problems. Um, yeah. I also want to mention, since we're at the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. definitely go out and check uh, VibrantLifeHealthCenter.com. Uh, check out the website. There's lots of good stuff there. And absolutely go to the blog. The blog oh, has yes. all kinds of great articles. There was an article on this that you can get a lot more detail because, again, it's only a half an hour show. So. Right, exactly. And so we'll talk about serious health problems people face. And before we do that, we'll give them a quick promo. Uh, right now they have a special for free Titron scan. Uh, if you are been getting lots of colds, you have a lot of weird stuff going on in your body, this is a free scan. And it could tell you a whole lot about what's going on in your system. And it's going to cost you absolutely nothing. It it normally, it would cost you a bunch of money, actually. So. Yeah, and it is. It's a, you know, it's a large value that you're getting for free, and you can really get, connect the dots. A lot of people they don't realize all the health problems they're having and how that ties into some of the other things that we look at yeah. with that Titron scan. And so we can really kind of connect the dots. I can't tell you how many patients I sit with on that, and we'll go through that information. And there's an aha moment that they have. And it's like, wow. Uh, I never even thought of that. Yeah. And and that's what that Titron scan is about, is to really show you how we can really shape a new health direction for you. So today's topic is about scary things that happen. And again, in, in the health world, there's lots of scary things. My wife and I were looking at some new health programs, and one of the first things that was in there was like this big list of diseases, which was really sort of crazy. It was like 800 of them. She says, now nah, I can't be able to go to sleep tonight because I'm thinking about all these damn diseases. <laughs> Yeah, all the things that they, 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 the exceptions to what you can get covered, right? So, so, you know, let's talk about the very first one. So I'm looking at the one here. It says, general decline in health leading to the inability to care for oneself. A lot of people are afraid that as they get older, you know, there's going to be a huge burden on their kids or, you know, or right. I can't drive my car anymore. Or, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you even look at the insurance industry right now. One of the biggest things they're talking about, right, right is long-term disability. Right. What are you going to do to plan for when you lose right. the ability to live an independent right. life? And that's a big, big situation. Because to talk the about. reality is, most people become reach a point where they can't really take care of themselves. I mean, right. there are very few people like Jimmy Durante was like, oh, 100 years old, still doing stuff. Oh yeah. But the reality is, if you really take good care of yourself, you can live a very fulfilled life well into late oh, you know, late 90s, 100 even. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm my grandparents when they went to 104. So, right. I mean, and they were independently living on their own in their hundreds. Yeah. You know, that's that's a huge thing. If you make, you know, the thing is, is that how do you get there? People would ask you, you know, how, do, how what's the strategy? How do these people make it right. to these elderly ages and, and be a functional right. individual? And, and they're, they're very specific things. I mean, some of it's a little bit genetics. You know, it's nice to get a little grace from God. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. But there are things that these people normally do that are different than the people who are getting sick all the time. Yes. That's the reality. I mean, there's a lot of things in health that have to do with your behaviors. And if you adjust your behaviors, you can actually undo damage that you've you actually caused over the can. years. And, yes. And I remember when I was in college when we were, I was studying some of the medicine stuff, and they would say, you know, no, if you have you know, arterial plaques, they're there forever. I mean, oh, they can't get yeah. rid of them and all that kind of... That's so now they know that a lot of that stuff can be reversed. It can be reversed. The body's a amazing machine. Including mental health issues. And yes. I don't mean by mental health like you're crazy. I'm talking about your brain with Alzheimer's and all that kind yes. of stuff. They're finding that a lot of those kinds of things can re be reversed also. So let's talk about yeah. some of the things that people do wrong. Okay, let's talk about... I mean, when you take a look at that, I mean, the first and foremost, when we take a look at that, let's talk about Alzheimer's. Let's go into that and we'll talk about things that people are doing wrong. When you look at that type of a scenario, uh, we're eating out of aluminum cans. You know, we're drinking aluminum pop out of aluminum cans right. or soda out of aluminum cans. We're cooking with aluminum foil. You know, aluminum is one of the biggest indicators or, you know, right. what if they're saying If you have an accumulation is, of aluminum in your right. brain, which is sort of crazy when you think, ah, I got an aluminum brain. Now, what am I trying to... <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, right? It's, it's metal. It's but, like metal. Yeah. But, uh, you know, those are the kind of things. So, really, it's the simple things that we wouldn't even think about. Right. You know, people open up a, an aluminum can with a soft drink in it, and they'll think nothing of it other than the fact it's a refreshing drink. But the things that are in that thing, right. in your body, are amazingly to, you know, they can amazingly change the course of your health. Right. And most people don't know that there's a lot of deodorants have aluminum in them. Yes. So you put the deodorant on your skin, and what you don't understand is your skin absorbs a lot of this stuff. So what's really weird is how the aluminum works in the first place. What it does is actually kills the nerve cells. 
Yes. So, so that you don't swear. <laughs> Which is really great. So let's put this stuff on so it kills my nerves. <laughs> and then my body doesn't work the way it's supposed to do. Plus, you absorb it into your body, and maybe exactly. it'll give you Alzheimer's. You know, I know I stopped using these kinds of deodorants got to be 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. So far, my wife hasn't included. divorced me over there. Uh, That's you know, right. Well, there's a lot of great options that you don't right. need to have aluminum out there, right. for sure. You know, the other thing, amazingly, you get aluminum from is high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. It's in it. It's one of the byproducts of the process of making that high fructose corn syrup. And so, I mean, that's it's one of the other big reasons why people are getting that. So you have deodorant, you have the sweeteners that are out there, the high fructose corn syrup. You've got the aluminum cans, the aluminum pots and pans that we've used over the years, yeah. aluminum foil. I mean, we're talking about, we're coming up on the holidays. We just right. passed Halloween, right? And what is everybody going to be carrying? They're going to be carrying these tin foil pots and, right. and you know, the, the tin foil canisters or casserole dishes with the aluminum foil on the top of it. And they're going to be carrying that in. Right. That's got all and the again, stuff in it. what most people don't really understand is these health issues are usually long-term health issues. You've been doing this for 40, 50 years, and then the chickens come home to roost, if you will. Yes. Okay. Uh, these things don't happen right away. That's why you don't notice. You know, there's an old saying that if you put a frog in a pot and then turn it on and heat it up, it won't jump out. No. Because it heats up. If you heat it up slowly, they'll stay in the pot until you could cook them. Right. And then exactly. you got frog legs. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a healthy thing to eat. There you go. If it's there the right kind of frogs. It's the one of those poisonous frogs. Definitely. From South America or something. Yeah. You know? We're talking about habits that, you know, we're talking about unhealthy diets and things like that. There are lots of things that people do as you get older. So normally as we get older, our metabolism normally slows. That's a normal part of life. Yes. But there's some unnormal things that we think of as normal. So as mm -hmm. you get older, you normally have more money. You have, you have more goodies, so you watch more TV. Uh -huh. You have yep. a tendency to exercise less, eat more because you can afford more. You can afford more goodies and stuff like that. And that's one of the things that healthy people normally don't do. That's correct. As they get older, they don't maintain a, they don't increase the sedentary part of their life. No, they do they not. They continue to exercise. They continue to, to run or jog or whatever it is they can do. Um, they also don't generally eat more. No. That's one thing you can notice about somebody who's really healthy. They they eat the same amount pretty much all the time. All the time. It really is. It doesn't change their foods. They have some great variety in it, but they, they ch don't change the amounts. And even in the special occasions, when they're going to Thanksgiving dinners and they're going to Halloween, the right. treats and things they use are, you know, they're not the commercial. Right. Uh, things that a lot of people are using out there. That they got the real though. cranberries. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the, the, the processed sugary version, right? right? So, I mean, but they're really making those choices. So the recipes they choose to make for the family, the things that they use, they use real ingredients. Right. If they're going to actually sweeten something, they're sweetening, sweetening it with something that's like coconut sugar or, right. you know, something like that that's natural that your body isn't going to have a harsh time digesting, have all the byproducts like aluminum like we were just talking right. about. There's a lot of things that people can do to really shift and and change the health output Not yeah, the and, I, and again it doesn't mean that you can't have some treats I mean regular good sugar you know pure sugar that hasn't been processed and bleached and all that kind of stuff is actually not bad for you. It's got vitamins and minerals and stuff in it. You just can't eat huge amounts of it. Right. So another thing that, that healthy elderly people do is they don't eat lots and lots of sugar. Right. Because sugar kills your brain cells. If you have a lot of sugar and your, mm -hmm. your sugar is spiking, you're killing yeah. brain cells. You are. You may you not are. know that. I mean, it's also causing all kind of cardiovascular issues. Oh, yeah. It's like glass shards <laughs> going through your veins. Right. I mean, it's just horror. <laughs> you know, so it's tearing things up, and it's not a good thing at all to go through. Yeah, and here's another thing. You go to your doctor, your regular MD, and he says, okay, you get these pains, but I take these prescription drugs. Most people don't realize that most prescription drugs have artificial colors on them. So they'll see the blue pill and the red oh, yeah. pill. Well, these pills, if you're taking them for 15 or 20 years, those colors are toxins. Yes, neural toxins. Yeah. Actually. Yes. They're actually accumulating in your body. Yes. <laughs> because they don't really pass through. Because we'll talk about it in another show later about toxins and, and how mm -hmm. your body deals with them. But the prescriptions have toxins in them in many cases. And then on top of that, the prescriptions have side effects. Right. And the side effects have side effects. It, so. And Let's so you started a cascade right. of that. Let's talk about diabetes or anything like, like, oh, high blood pressure, probably number one. Mm -hmm. You know, you, they, they pr prescribe a statin drug. And if you have high blood pressure, chances are 
you're probably already already overweight, right? That's correct. I mean, you see yep. these people coming oh, yes. in your office Absolutely. all the time for Nutramost. They're overweight, and they take this high blood pressure medicine, mm -hmm. which actually makes them gain weight. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's a counterintuitive thing. Right. Right? And then they get tired. Right. So then we're going to... So then now they sit down. Right. And now I'm going to have some uh, snacks. <laughs> and they get into this cascade, this roller coaster where they can't get off the off the treadmill. Exactly. No, yeah. they're like that rat doing. Yeah, it's just it's a <laughs> circle. You can't get out of it. You're just trapped in it. It's a crazy type of thing. And again, the doctors understand that there's side effects, but right. they don't place a lot of emphasis on the problems that the that that are down the road right. from these side effects. Because once you start taking the statin drugs, I mean, you gain certain weight. Now your blood pressure will go up more. Right. So now they increase the statin drugs, which when they increase the statin drugs, you gain more weight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a trap. It is. It's a trap you get into, and that's what's scary. Yeah. It's because you get into these situations, and you get you're trapped, and where what else you, do what you, you have do? to turn? What do you do? do? Do most people know that there are many types of natural things that you can do to lower your blood pressure? Absolutely. I mean, you talk about them in the office all yes, the time. Yes, all the time. There, there are natural supplements that don't have side effects that can help lower your blood pressure. There are foods. For yes. example, I eat lots of celery, not because I happen to, you know, like celery. act like a yeah. you know, rabbit or something. <laughs> I just know that celery helps lower your blood pressure. So yes. I eat lots of it. Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, and I've actually done tests for for years where I do this. I eat the celery, and if I eat a lot of celery, it'll actually lower my blood pressure like ten points. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy, so, but it's very. Effective. But it's but it's real real thing. And again, if you investigate these, or better yet, just come down to Doctor John's office and let them check you out and do a full write up on you and stuff. Yeah, they'll you'll discover all kinds of things. Um, we were talking about Alzheimer's earlier. What are some things people can do? To, you know, other than you know, get rid of the aluminum stuff. I mean, aren't there? Natural things that they can eat that will help their brain? There, there is. I mean, coconut oil is one of the big things that, that's come out in research even in the last couple of years. Uh, and they've talked about the addition of coconut oil. Because, you know, the other thing about dementia and Alzheimer's is a lot of people consider it a type 3 diabetic. Right. You know? And so how do you feed the brain? Well, the only way to feed the brain is using something like coconut oil. It can be another food to right. the brain so that it isn't starving. And so the neural... And, and again, you're not overloading with the sugar and all that kind of stuff. So I know that I've been eating mm -hmm. blueberries for about almost 20 years now. I yes. Guess. Blueberries have been discovered to do all kinds of really cool stuff. One of the things is to help your brain, helps your arterial you know, systems, yep. all those kinds of things. Blueberries are cheap, and you can get them year-round because you can get them frozen, and actually they're great in frozen smoothies oh, and stuff are. like that. You can make blueberry ice cream or sherbet or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do that regularly at our house. I mean, that's a great snack, Oh yeah. and it's not going to spike your sugar. No, I mean, it's, it's not. one of those kinds of things that you can do. So I know taurine... It's good for your brain. Chlorine is good, yes, uh, definitely. Turmeric is also yeah, very turmeric. good. Yep, Phosphatidylcholine. exactly. Phosphatidylcholine. I mean, there's a lot of things out there that can help your brain. I'm not, I've, I've studied a lot of these because I have an uh, autistic son. So yes, exactly. You can pay attention to all those things very closely. Uh, I know we're coming up on about a minute or so. We're going to be getting to the second half of the show. Um, we want to talk more about these subjects, but I also want to make sure that we're going to talk about the tip of the day. So what's going to be yeah. the tip of the day? Well, you know, the tip of the day, we, we, we just gone through Halloween. The temperature, the needle's starting to fall down. Yeah. And what does that usually tell us when we're coming into that season of? Well, we're going to get colds and flu. Getting colds and flu, right? <laughs> so crud. We're, we're going to get the, the crud. crud. The crud. So we want to talk about what is a natural flu shot. Everybody kind of runs out and gets a flu shot. And that seems to be a big natural flu thing. shot. I like that because shot. I don't get flu shots because I've seen too many That's problems right. with flu shots. So we'll be coming back in yes. about a couple of minutes. So stay tuned for a slight commercial break. Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron, we can identify specifically how our care is gonna be focused on those issues to address what you have specifically. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a, a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. 
Welcome back from the commercial break. Yeah. Natural. Well, we're going to talk about all kinds of natural stuff. So the yes. natural way to get a flu shot. Flu shot. Flu shot. So, you know, everybody runs off, they get a flu shot, and they think, well, is this the right strand? Is this, you know, there's a lot of things. And then, of course, you and I could get into a lot of detail right now about what's in a flu shot. Yeah. Well, so all kinds of nasty stuff. What's the natural option out there? What are the things you can do? Well, there's a list of them out there. We actually have that on our Facebook page because we do a tip of the, tip of the week as, it, as well there, a health tip. But number one is get adjusted. A lot of people don't understand when you get chiropractically adjusted, it can boost your immune system up to 200%. So if you're feeling, it's amazing because my patients will come in and they'll call the office and they'll say, hey, I'm not going to come in. I'm feeling kind of cruddy today. I'm just not going to come in and get adjusted. They, that's when they really need that's to come when, in. Actually. Exactly. That's when they need to be there. I was like, actually, you need to be here three times this week yeah. um, because that's what's going to help boost your immune system. So getting chiropractically adjusted, a big part of making sure that's part of your natural health flu shot. Um, you know, rest. Rest is a very big issue. People who are burning the candle on three ends of the stick. Uh, when you have that happen, you're going to start wearing that body down, wearing the you immune get system adrenal down. Adrenal fatigue and all those kinds exactly. of things. Exactly. Drop your immune system in the toilet. Boop. And then and then you will leave yourself open to have all that. And then that's not a good thing either. So make sure you're getting rest. And I know I go to your office all the time, and you have a bunch of really cool supplements that, that you can take regularly without having to worry about side that's effects. That's correct. That bump up your immune system too. So. You got the elderberry and all those. We have the of elderberry. Things. We also have the nucleoimmune that we've talked right. a lot, a lot about regularly. the shows and things like that. We have the colostrum, right. which is also a very good thing. And then the other thing we talk about is the D three. You know, because as most people the, don't take D three. I take that's that every right. day. I mean, I like the nuclear immune because it's got. I used to take a bunch of different things, and the nuclear immune, when you read the ingredients, it's it got all the all mushrooms package. and all that right. kind of stuff right in there. So and, you can and take it's, it. It's a potent. Potent uh, little thing you can have. We always tell everybody in the office, it's the one thing you always want to have in your medicine cabinet because yeah. if you feel something coming out, start hitting it. And when you're talking about colds and flus, one of the best things to do is prevention. So you think about it. I mean, you, your throat's getting a teeny bit scratchy. If you think your throat's a little scratchy, you want to jump all over it. I mean, oh, don't absolutely. wait till it's really scratchy. No, that's right. <laughs> that's what people do. They say, ah, it's not there. It'll go, it'll go away tomorrow morning. Right. No, no, I'm going to make it. sure it's going to go away. <laughs> I'm going right. to jump all over The other thing is, just wash your hands. Wash your hands is a huge part of it. <laughs> Keep yourself clean. Wash your hands. You know, make sure that you're, the food that you're preparing is clean. It's not, in the, you know, you're not sneezing and coughing all over right. your foods. But keeping sanitary is a huge issue as and, well. And we both do a lot of networking and stuff like that. So anytime I go to a networking event, the first thing I do after I leave the networking event is wash, wash my hands. Wash those hands. Exactly. <laughs> because I've been shaking hands with people and I have yep. no idea what they got. And a lot of times they won't stay home when they get the crowd or whatever. No, they won't. They won't. <laughs> Hydration is another big key. Yeah. Making sure your body is hydrated, especially when you start getting that tickle in the throat. Giving the body yeah. hydration is a big part of making sure you're you, staying you healthy. you got to give it what it needs because, again, if you're getting the symptoms, you're losing at least a battle. You are. Probably won't need to lose the war, but you're losing a battle you're somewhere. You're losing a battle, <laughs> yes. And you want to you boost that up. So just in those tips alone, you could really shape... You know, even if you did end up getting something, it could be a day or two long rather than a week and a half right. long. You know, and that's really what you're looking at. Is it's not a matter of you not getting sick. It's just a matter of you getting in the right position so that your body has the tools it needs to fight what you have coming up. Yeah. I know in this show we're talking about the scariest things that can happen to you. Mm -hmm. um, one of the scariest things that happens to a lot of Americans, and we're talking like, I think it's 60% or something like that of Americans are, are obese. Actually, yeah, it's actually the official, it's 35% are obese and 74% are now overweight. Overweight. And, and yes. overweight, not by a little bit, but by a bunch. Now, to be obese, you got to be, what, 25, 30 pounds overweight? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a big problem in the United States. Part of it is because we're the country of plenty. I mean, we yes. really do. You go to the grocery store. The shelves are pretty much always filled. You don't see people in the street with guns, you know, working that's, on stuff. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pretty well taken care of in yeah, that sense, you know. And, and again, food is cheap here compared to other countries. I mean, it is cheap. You know, and, and uh, because of food technology, yeah, and a lot of food can quality. last forever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, look, I love Including that. in your body. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so being overweight is a big, scary issue. It's a it big, is. scary issue for a huge number of the population. I know for me, I was sort of a health nut, and when I started ballooning up and I couldn't lose the weight, even though I'm exercising every day, yes. it became a big issue, and, and for my wife also. So we decided to go through the Nutrimost program because we knew that if we continued on that path, it That's was right. going to be a huge problem. It was. It would be. And we're not that old. I mean, I, I'm, right. I'm not a spring chicken or anything like that, but we're not that old. But I know that I've seen 
huge problems, and I don't want to have to take statin drugs and all the other kind of crap. Cholesterol drugs, yeah, and all those kinds of things. Blood pressure, start getting into type two diabetics because of the systems. So we went through the program, and in forty days, I lost thirty four pounds. My wife lost twenty one or twenty pounds or something like that, and we're still the habits we built through the program are keeping the weight completely off. Isn't that and awesome? that doesn't mean that we can't ever, like I ate pound cake last night. I ate a piece of pound cake. I didn't gain a pound. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's the kind of thing that you can still indulge some. You yeah. can't go crazy. But you build habits that you know they're really good. I know that exactly. if I eat lots and lots of vegetables, I have really high energy and I actually lose weight, which is right. sort of wild. <laughs> Okay, so if I did indulge myself on Thanksgiving, I know the following day I mean lots of salad. Yeah, and you know when you look at someone, when you start gaining weight, you know you gotta start recognizing. You said it really well just a few minutes ago. You know you're losing the battle somewhere. Yeah. You know, there's a battleground going on. You you don't want to lose the war. And when right. you start to get obese, it opens the door for a lot of other health conditions to yeah. fall into place because your body is 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 losing. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid and my mom, we, we had a, a black and white TV and I used to watch Jack LaLanne uh, yes. on TV. I, okay? I watched it when I was a kid. Yeah. And, yes. And this guy, I mean, he could do all kinds. One thing, I was like 70 years old and he's pulling a train or something. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but if you look at his lifestyle, all his life was very, very consistent. He was talking about eating organic stuff a oh. long, long time ago, way yes. before it became in vogue. He, he was talking about egg making mm -hmm. shakes and protein oh, yeah. drinks and all that kind of stuff and exercise every day. I mean, that was one right. of his things. So his lifestyle, he lived to be a pretty old guy. Oh, it was almost he's 100. He's in his 90s. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's late 90s. Yeah. He's almost 100. And yet, when you still looked at him, he, if you just put another head on him, yeah. his body looked like a 25 or 28-year-old oh, yeah. guy. He was, he was in great shape. Yeah, that's, I mean, And that's really what it is because when we look at like this, a lot of people understand that their metabolism are going to slow down when they right. get old. But the issue is, is that the way that we're taking care of ourselves in this country, with the stats that we were just talking about, that metabolic change is happening way too early. Right. And we're aging so much faster metabolically in our bodies than we are in a chronological sense. Right. And think about it this way. If you have a machine and it works really good and as it gets older, you know you got to oil some of the parts a little more often and that kind of stuff. Well, your body is the same way, the way I look it at is. it. As you get older, if you don't tweak the way you live, yeah you wear it out much faster. And that's the problem that people are having. Mm -hmm. They don't tweak. In other words, they know their metabolism slowing down, but instead of eating less or better food, they eat more junk. Right. Or, or playing a little more golf or doing something. They, yeah. they slow down even though they know their body's slowing down. And that's the worst. That's like a double death wish or something. It is. And, you know, the other big thing is that when we talk about, you know, getting out and moving, it's a very important part. It's not like these things aren't enjoyable. You know, a lot of people find what you really right. enjoy. If it's bicycling, then, then do right. it. If it's golfing, get out there and do it. It's these steps that are amazing. They're, they're, they're little things you can do that go a long way. To I do, I do a problem. lot of walking. So for me, walking is almost like meditating. Mm -hmm. In a half an hour, I can knock out two miles pretty easily. Yes. And in 45 minutes, I can knock out four and a half or something like yeah, that. So exactly. I mean, that's something I do. And I got my music on and I'm just, my favorite music. Nobody's bugging me. I'm out there just huffing it. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's, it's like centering myself. You know, one of the biggest, scariest things is heart attack, heart disease, and stroke. Brain yeah. attack, if you will. Yes. Okay. Number one killer is heart disease. Yes, up exactly. Up there with, with cancer and stuff like that. Yep. That happens because a lot of people are doing the wrong stuff. Yes, exactly. I mean, they, they, pre, they prelude themselves to coming into an environment where that's prevalent. Right. And that's not a good thing. And there are natural things that people can do to actually help improve your your. your arterial system you were, because remember it's like I said at the beginning of the show they used to say that you couldn't reverse heart disease right and now they know that they can as a matter of fact taking the right kinds of vitamins can actually help remove those arterial oh, plaques yeah. you know we have we have some things uh, recently I was just come across a stat and some of the things I was reading and if somebody loses 20 pounds off their body they reduce the risk of heart attack by 75 percent yeah that's a, a huge, huge stat that's a huge stat and not only that if you have if you're overweight by 40 pounds or 50 pounds, the likelihood of you having a lot of fatty tissue on your liver oh, yes. is pretty high, which can lead to cirrhosis and other kinds of issues. And I know that when I lost all my weight, all the fatty tissue on my liver completely went away. I had an MRI, so I know it's absolutely it's gone. gone. It's history. So it's really cool that the program doesn't make you lose weight. It makes you lose fat. fat. And so that's the new promos program is a really cool program. I mean, this technology that they have is really exciting. And then we got... About five minutes left, yep. so uh, let's keep going on a couple of 
elderly people. So this elderly, is huge. yeah, elderly yes. people as they get older, there's there's all kinds of issues that they have. I mean, I, I know sometimes they make mistakes and, and consume the wrong pills. I mean, they, they grab the wrong right. one or something exactly. like that. That could be yep. an issue. But the number one issue I think for elderly is falling down. Falling down. Yeah. You know, and, and when it we talk about it, it kills more of them than anything, as it, far as I know. It does. It, it's, it's a huge killer. And the big thing is, is that there's another thing where if we just kept them moving, kept them, you know, the problem doing some is, exercise, is that right. doing some exercise, keep it moving, keep things freshened. And so the joints are fresh, they're moving more effectively, the muscle structures are right. used to moving. That's what really we find is that when we find people falling down, it's because they're sedentary. And a lot so of times long. what they'll do is they'll say, well, I have pain. So they go to their doctor. The doctor gives them pain medication, which actually then, then makes them gain weight. Because most pain medication will make you gain weight, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know that. <laughs> yes. The reason I know that is because I gain weight. And when I got <laughs> off the painkillers, a lot of the weight fell off. That was, And this was 25 years ago, so this is not something new. I was taking painkillers when I was a much younger man, like my 40s, mm -hmm. and boom, I gained weight from taking the painkillers. Right. So there are natural things that you could do. You mentioned one earlier. Turmeric is Tumeric phenomenally is good for, for reducing pain. Yes. Ginger, phenomenally mm -hmm. good for reducing pain. Those two together actually are sold in uh, many kinds oh, of absolutely. products. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And Cryotherapy, you always use right. ice. That, you know? I would tell you that I put turmeric and ginger in all the food I cook. I even put it on my salads. I mean, yeah. I put it on everything. And it's a great pain management thing with minimal side effects. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, it's really good for anti-cancer, a whole bunch of other things. It so is, totally. Really cool product, if you're not using that. We were talking about the elderly and you know falling, falling down. Yes. Part of the problem is they lose muscle mass, but the other part of them is they lose balance. They, they do. They become unbalanced, if yeah. you will. Part of that, again, is you're talking about they're not exercising. They're not doing they're not. stuff that keep, maintains their balance. Yeah, and there's, there's some very small things that you can do. We teach those things in the offices, how you can do to maintain a balance structure and a coordination in the brain and how it, how it relates to where the limbs are, where the right. legs are. And so they're very simple little things they can do with, with inexpensive components like cups and things like that in the house. And you can lay them out and have them do little exercises with them. And it's amazing how effective it is, yeah. is maintaining brain health and balance health for an individual like that. Yeah, I remember this Jacqueline Lane episode where huh. he was talking about, you know, people say, well, I gotta have exercise machines and all that, and he says, no, you don't need no exercise mm -hmm. machine. You walk into your kitchen, you open the cabinet, you grab the biggest can you can find, and now that's yeah. gonna be, you're gonna curl the that's can. That's right, that's right, you know. <laughs> and he say, you know, you don't need all kinds of really magical, I mean, I'm a gadget guy. My partners always say I'm a gadget. But you don't need <laughs> super gadgets, you just, no, you, you don't. You can improvise with all kinds of stuff. There is a lot of things you can do with your body because your body can give you resistance right. and weight. And you can actually do a lot of exercise with it and physical fitness and right. building up the health structure and the strength of your muscles yeah. just with what you have in yourself. Yeah, so I would tell you guys, you know, if you're looking at excuses, put those aside because mm -hmm. those, are your, those are the barriers that are getting in your way. <laughs> the excuses that you're making are keeping you from actually improving your health. Even though you think you're old mm -hmm. and you can't improve your health, or you can. Oh, you'd be amazed yeah. how fast these bodies I, I know around. that now, you know, at 62, I can outwalk most of my friends who are in their 40s. Yes. Okay? And I know because I, I go on hikes with 40-pound pack That's on my right. back and all that kind of stuff, and I know that I can keep up with the Boy Scouts that are in front of me. That's right. And those so, are, how old are they? Yeah, they're like 15. Right? So... so you know, and that's all about the metabolic age. Yeah. Going through the program you went through, you learned yeah. how to restore that and how to understand what that means because it's a big component of your true health. Yeah. So, I, I you know, I, I want to just say that if you if you pay attention to these things, read the article, mm -hmm. there's lots of really good material in yes. there. It's actually, this is not the first time we've talked about this stuff, but there's a lot of really good articles on the blog that are mm -hmm. really good. Uh, you can also look at several of the radio shows, and we've done other TV shows, and we've talked about these things. Uh, at the end, of, we're coming to the end of the show. We mm -hmm. want to make sure we remind you about the free Titron scan. This yes. is a killer deal. Again, if you've never had a Titron scan, it's a totally non-invasive thing, but it really produces a lot of very useful information. Yes. So if you actually have any kind of aches and pains in your neck and back, it'll oh, be absolutely. helpful for that. But if you're also getting sick a lot, it's really good for that also. It and is. Another kind of so you have sciatica. So it'll, it'll point that out immediately. Oh, it will. It so will. those kinds of things again. It's free, and it's not normally free. No. So you want to take advantage of it while it's free. 
I know they also have a special program right now for Nutrima. Yes, so we tell do. Tell a little bit you about know, that. The, you come in and get the body composition analysis, and we talk a little bit about the metabolic age, and we go over that while we're going right. through that consultation. We go through a lot of different components of the visceral fat, the fat around your organs, like the liver fat that we were talking about okay. today, the adipose fat that's hanging out. How much do you really have to lose? How much? Right. What are we looking at here? What's your goal? What's really realistic? Uh, to where you're at, yeah. uh, it answers all your questions. It's yeah. crazy uh, for twenty-seven dollars. The amount of information They're really great right off. And normally, yes. this kind of thing would cost you about a hundred bucks if you went to a right. regular doctor to do this kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. So. so this is don't take advantage of both of those things. Other than that, I know we we next week's show we're going to be talking about what are we going to talk about? You know about why detoxing your body is important. Exactly. You know, I think we should probably throw out there today to uh, just if you're going on the website, it's vlhcjacks.com. Very simple place yeah. to go to get all that information. You can go to our blog for yeah. certainly, and, yeah. and that's a Vibrant Life Health Center blog spot. Yeah. So you can do that as well. And then if you're uh, ready to really get involved, call the office at 683 8177. Take advantage of the free TITROP scan. Till next week. <laughs>